Hey everyone, just getting in the car, driving up to Indy today for PRI, the Performance Racing Industry Trade Show. Uh, super huge event, uh, pretty excited about it. This is the um, second time I've went to this event. Last year it was called IMIS and uh, wasn't quite as big as this one. So pretty excited, uh, get to see all kinds of race cars that are... Uh, decaled up for next year so you can see all that uh, a lot of companies there displaying their new products and things like that you get to see demonstrations and uh, it's just a pretty cool event a lot of drivers are there a lot of uh, racing media people from NASCAR down the dirt and so uh, looking forward to it so hopefully I'll be able to bring some uh, cool interviews for you guys and give you a behind the scenes um, journal of uh, what I see and what I do all day So I'm based out of Bowling Green, Kentucky, and we are known for several things, and uh, one of them, which is the Corvette. We have that Corvette plan. I'll show that here in a few minutes. Uh, right down the roof of my house, this is the Camping World World Headquarters. It's a pretty big tie in there with NASCAR and the uh, Truck Series, and of course all the people who uh, get to the events in their RVs. Uh, pretty cool deal having them right down the road. Uh, we also have Fruit of the Loom, and uh, several other world headquarters here in Bowling Green. So one of the cool things about living in Bowling Green is that we have the National Corvette Museum. As you can see, there's a little yellow uh, building with a red spear coming out of the top. And one thing about the Corvette Museum up there, the one they're actually building a road course right over here on the other side of the highway. Construction is ongoing with that project. Uh, they're hoping to have it done by, I believe, next uh, fall, maybe next spring. I don't know. Um, and right here is the Corvette plant. You can't see it very well because of the concrete barrier. So, if you want to buy a brand new Corvette or a Corvette that has been built since 1984, it was built right here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, Corvette Museum is opening the road course, which is a pretty cool thing. Uh, it's going to be a testing facility for the Corvette um, GT team. Uh, it's going to be uh, a place where Corvette owners can come and um, do like time trials and things like that. They're going to have an autocross track and uh, who knows what else is going to happen there. Uh, I don't think they have any plans right now of any like racing series is coming in there. It'll probably be more of a uh, local type deal or a um, Corvette specific deal. Uh, we're pretty excited to see uh, what's going to come out of that though. So by way of introduction, this is Race Day Vlogs, and Race Day Vlogs is a little show I'm putting together to give you a behind the scenes tour of what goes on at the racetrack, what goes on the, on the way to the racetrack, and the pits, and the campgrounds, and the stands, wherever. This is just an unscripted, entertaining uh, show of what I see at a racetrack. And I am a huge race fan, uh, my name's Darren Waldo. My family has been involved in dirt late model racing or what was before dirt model, model racing uh, for close to 50 years. And so I come by it pretty honestly as far as uh, the passion and uh, why I love auto racing. And just about any kind of racing I'm into. Uh, this past summer, I was able to be a cameraman for a nationally televised TV show on MAV TV called Flip the Switch. Indiana Sprint Cars, and so if you've got MAV TV on your cable package, uh, you may have been able to watch some of my handiwork. You didn't see me, but uh, I'm holding the camera. So it's pretty neat to be able to travel all over Indiana to Kokomo, to Bloomington, to Putnamville, to Hopstop, and uh, video for a TV show. Get to interview Dave Darlin and um, Stambro and all these guys um, that are just ridiculous race car drivers. Some of these guys have been doing it since the mid-80s and they're still winning. And it was pretty neat to be able to um, be involved in that 
and uh, also got a chance to work with XN.TV and do a live stream for them uh, in East Bay, which is right outside of Tampa Bay for the Winter Nationals. I uh, got to interview Scott Bloomquist and Jimmy Owens and uh, Donnie Moran and all kinds of people um, during Winter Nationals down there for the Lucas Oil um, series. It was pretty neat to be able to uh, to experience that and to, uh, to learn a little bit about uh, media and racing and technology and how those things work. Also got to live broadcast the race from Clarksville, Tennessee, the Toilet Bowl Classic, and um, it's a pretty interesting experience standing up on top of a concession stand uh, for two nights in the freezing cold and showing the world. Uh, the awesome racing that I got to see and it's pretty neat. Uh, so basically a vlog is a video journal it comes from video and blog. Some people like to write their thoughts on a blog and so a vlog is a video version of that. So my goal right now is to go to different tracks and different racing venues and events around wherever and basically give you this entertaining show behind the scenes of what goes on what I see today headed to PRI one of the biggest racing industry trade shows um, I have a media credential which is pretty cool so I'm gonna be able to take a camera in and interview people if I want to or to just take this vlog and, and vlog so it'll be pretty neat to be able to experience that um, all kinds of uh, drivers and uh, people from the racing industry are going to be there so hopefully I'll get some good footage for you guys and let you see um, Maybe how some of these guys act like not in an interview setting, just like Joe Schmo normal, uh, because it's it's pretty interesting to see how some of your favorite drivers, my favorite drivers, act um, when the camera's off. So that's the goal. That's what we're gonna do. So if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel, like this, share this, like us on Facebook, uh, Twitter and all those things, We're trying to build a community here uh, just for your entertainment. Uh, I'm one of the people who have cut the cord. I have no cable at my house and what do I do when I get home from work? I flip on my Apple TV and I watch vlogs. I watch other people's lives. For some crazy reason I think it's very interesting and it's fun to, uh, to interact with them uh, on social media. So this is just a great social media experience to see how racing uh, fans I want to see some more content, behind the scenes content, whenever the official cameras shut off that you don't see anymore on, um, on TV. So, here we go. Snow in Indiana. Just about to Indy and just got word via text message that most of the parking garages are filling up. So. Part of the adventure of this trip will be finding where I can park at and not have to walk five miles because it's freezing cold. As you can see, it's snow on the ground. And I've got some backpacks, camera gear, computer, stuff like that in it that uh, I don't really want to trudge in five miles in the cold carrying it on my back. So hopefully in about 10 minutes when I get to Indy, uh, I'll just luck into an easy parking spot in a very close parking garage. That's gonna be our main problem. That's where I'd like to park, but it's full. Found a garage, not too, too far away. Um, a couple blocks I'm gonna have to walk. But uh, the biggest challenge now is finding a uh, parking spot. Penthouse location on the roof. It's pretty cold out, but someone said something about snow later tonight, so hopefully that doesn't happen, because this is going to do without more snow, unless you're going to put it in Bowling Green, Kentucky.
Here at PRI with Clint Dahl, world famous Clint Dahl. How you guys doing? Trying to get distracted. Uh, he's here with Race Trader, RacePartsTrader.com, and Race Seaver is right next door to him. Got a little venture where they uh, basically it's an eBay site for race parts. So if you are looking to sell something or buy something race parts related, uh, check them out. So you can see all kinds of parts demonstrations, uh, new products, machinery that uh, is in the racing industry, and some of this is for circle tracks, some is for road course, some is just for street um, applications. But uh, if you want it, you can pretty much find it anywhere you want here, and uh, it's pretty neat to, to go around and watch some of the demonstrations. Pretty neat getting to see people like John Force just walking around, um, totally accessible, and probably is the fastest mouth in motorsports, but also one of the fastest drivers. A uh, pretty cool guy. I was uh, talking with a gentleman in a wheelchair uh, for a good little bit there. So it's just kind of neat to see uh, people getting to interact with him like that. Because see what happens. Hey guys. It's the champ, Devin Gilpin, right here. Yeah. Waters of tomorrow, engine challenge. We're building, we're building horsepower. <laughs> so, arguably one of the best dirt late model racers of all time, Scott Bloomquist, is here, and uh, he's got a new ride for the uh, PRI show. <laughs> Did a lot of walking today, and uh, so far uh, on the day, looks like I have tallied 6.5 miles. Leaving the Indiana Convention Center and PRI. PRI. Day one for me, how many days for you? Seven. He's been here for seven days. I go grab a bite to eat. They're headed off to a Pacers game, and I don't want to waste my money. We're gonna go. Hey, we're gonna keep walking. How do you feel about the Bobcats? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to PRI yet? No? Hey, out in downtown India, Kilroy's. Now, this guy that I'm about to introduce you to uh, is a legend. He's the 2013 West Virginia State Hobby Stock Champion, Daniel Hill. 
I am. I am. I'm also a uh, three-time show mule champion at the Tyler County Fair. Um, coming off a, a rough season, but uh, we're going to get our, our uh, animals back together and get a, a hobby stock championship and hopefully get back into the blue ribbon ranks at the fair. So uh, we're getting ready to drop a, uh, a bomb on to the world in the uh, form of an awesome video that we uh, captured today that you'll see in this vlog as part of the footage. Uh, let me scroll to it right here so you can just get a little piece of it. So uh, live on 4M and a debut of Race Day Vlogs. I uh, hope you like it. So uh, being in Bowling Green, Kentucky, we very rarely get snow uh, in the snow that they promised. And right now, uh, it is snowing like mad. We're supposed to get uh, five to seven inches tonight. Headed right now to a hockey game with Zach, Kyle, and Tim. Pretty pumped. Yeah, first ever hockey game, pretty fun. Still snowing, probably get about half an inch. So, should be interesting driving up to Zionsville. So, uh, when you come to Indianapolis, uh, tradition we uh, started last year was uh, playing welt ball. Play ping pong, you lose five points in a row on a serve, then you get an opportunity for a welt ball. And he looked out. <laughs> <laughs> 